and uphold our honor and glory, so help me God. The anti-corruption declaration. In all that I do this week, I shall not condone corruption or partake in it in any manner. My God will help me. Surely God will help us this week in Jesus' name. This week is week of uh, election for Nigeria. Hallelujah. And we all know that a lot of things are going to be happening. The enemies are planning, but God will take control. So this morning, like Daddy has already said, we are going to declare peace in our country to this week. Hallelujah. That even as the election goes, it will be a peaceful one. So open your mouth this morning. First of all, just thank God for your life. Thank God that you've seen today. Thank God that irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of the situation that we are seeing, we are not moved. We are not moved. So Father, we thank you. We love you, we worship you, we appreciate you. Thank you for the miracle of life. Thank you for keeping us safe. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This morning we are going to be declaring what we want to see. Peace in our country. Peace in Nigeria. 
Even as the election goes, it will be a peaceful one. Lives will not be lost. The righteous will not follow the plan of the enemy. Everyone will be kept safe. Hallelujah. For those that will not hear, they will leave themselves to what the enemy has for them. Amen. So this morning, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Make sure you're praying. Make sure you say something. Because it is what you say that you will get. Don't keep quiet. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. If you don't know what to say, just pray in tongues. We declare peace. Peace in this election. The right person will, will emerge. The person that God has proposed for this country. The person that God has chosen that will be, that will rule over the affairs of this country will come to pass. Even when they rig, they will rig the right person in. In the name of Jesus. Rahina Zagada Bonde Lehina Zegede. Reketete Bayanda Kisataye. Ratatata. Rakatabaye. Mareketete. Repotobo Robo Shata. Rahina Zondo. Kasataye. Kasatatata. Rapotobo Robo Shata. The plan of the enemy will not succeed. In the name of Jesus. We declare that this election on Saturday will be a peaceful one. It will be a peaceful one. We decree and declare that it will be a peaceful one. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not succeed. Ah, in the name of Jesus, when people go out of vote, it will be a peaceful one. It will be a safe place for them. In the name of Jesus, Rakatata, Rapotoborobo Seteke, Leke Bayanda Gazagada. Soto, Rika Patayaya, Rakototo, Rapataye, Le Prakata. We declare safety for everyone. We declare protection for everyone in the name of Jesus. We declare that the neighborhood will be a peaceful place. There will be no fight in the name of Jesus. Rabon de Lerebo Soto, Rika Tatata, Rapataye, Segedede, Sege Prakataya. next week is either we know who our president is or we have an idea who the president will be. And what that means is that there will be a change of government. And when there's a change of government, there's a change of power and restructuring will happen. Praise the Lord. So this morning we'll be praying to position ourselves that whatever change that comes, it will favor us. In every area of our life, whatever change that will come after the election, it will be to our own advantage. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 43 verse 19. A very popular scripture we all know. Say, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. This is what God is saying. He said, it shall spring forth. He said, shall you not know it? He said, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I will do a new thing something new will happen in our life. God is taking us to a new height. He's taking us to a new position. He's positioning us strategically. Praise the Lord. So with this understanding, I want us to open our mouth and begin to thank God first. Thank God for the new positioning. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you 
I thank you for the new position you are taking me. I thank you for taking me to a place that will benefit me. I thank you, O Lord. Open your mouth and begin to thank this God. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. Even as you are thanking God, begin to declare that God will position you strategically in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that your business will be positioned strategically in your academics. So lift up your voice and declare open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself this morning begin to call for that things that you want to see happen in your life God himself is saying said behold I will do a new thing in your life open your mouth and declare those things that you want God to do for you this new year open your mouth and declare in this 2023 what are you expecting lift up your voice and begin to declare in Kabasutali Bahandaya Ekozuhande Liba Kataria Intabari Hundobo Shata Lekuze Keli Bahandaya open your mouth and declare in your business in your marriage in your job in your health there's a turn around the makabande ikabosu taliba in taliba shandara dabose ekoria 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 inka babando lihande lift up your voice and begin to declare it in the name of jesus things are working for my good things are working for my good in the mighty name of jesus Open your mouth and declare that God is ordering your steps. God is taking you a step at a time into your place of fulfillment. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Maliba shata kabarande ikaba sotoli andalaba shata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's stretch out our hands to this testimony box uh, and let's just thank God for every testimony here. Every testimony we have here. God has answered even before we wrote them down. Uh, lift up your voice uh, and say, Father, we thank you for every one of it uh, because we know it has been settled. We give you all the praise. We thank you, everlasting Father. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Good morning, everyone. They just keep on hating, frustrating, constraining, got me thinking, no, blah, blah, blah. Got no light to shine, you got a heart, I got a heart, you got a mind, I got a mind. So why don't we just leave as one as we all should? We don't need each other to carry on. We all have each other to live on. We all got each other to live on. Sharing the love to make the life go on. So stop the hating and the loving, stop the killing and the saving, stop the fighting, be forgiving, be a hero like a savior. Together we are better, up together we are stronger. Together we can move mountains, we can walk together. We are the world protectors. We are nation builders, so we all matter for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our life matters. Like a wildlife. Being white, fascinated by your look, cause you're amazing. Come be with me, come stay with me, come live with me. Come be my brother, come be my sister, live in peace together. We familiar, but together we about, but together we can do great things and better. We, we are the world protectors, we are nation builders, so we are matter for life. We 
is still the same Be you black or white, I still love you the same I want you with me No matter where you come from, yeah Let love prove we are love We got love Let's be a love No discriminating Stop condemnation, yeah All we have is each other now So let's love rule All I want is to be We are one And that is true No, no discrimination Stop condemnation Loves me, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves even me. I'll do it one more time. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Tells me so. Oh, 
You're my bestest friend. You're my most trusted friend. My confidence. My father. Creator. Healer. Protector. Provider. You are all that I ever need. Nothing else comes close. This morning we just want to say, Jesus, we are great.
can love you the way he does Yeah, yeah Sweeter and sweeter in time Sweeter and sweeter in time I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than cashlessness. Let nothing stop you. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you, yeah. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Somebody join me. Say, I love, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. compliment this is the season of love guys say God loves you you look beautiful I love your tie <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord are we excited to be in church this morning it's fun services we are here to have fun because church is fun Woo! <laughs> hallelujah we're going to be starting first into an interactive session. I'm going to come down. I'm going to ask questions, you know, about love. And you're going to answer me. If you answer me correctly, you get a gift. Amen. Are we feeling this giving season? Are we feeling it? If you got Valentine's gift, let me see your hands up. If you got Valentine's gift, let's see you now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Only mommy rose, only reverend. Ah uh ah. -uh. You put not your, uh, hey, yeah, sorry, you. Uh, baby, I, 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 no, no, we're not all single now. Nah. Hey, Ali, don't worry, we'll give our gifts today. Amen. Okay, first of all, I was just scrolling through Instagram this period, and I, there's this new thing that is vibing right now called Christian pickup lines. There's, there's not a very gospel way to check a girl or a guy in church, you know. I'm going to give an example. For example, you woke up to a girl and you're like, is your name Fit? Because you look like the substance of things I hoped for. <laughs> Amen. Who was on that one for me? Oh, is Williams here? Because I'm here to yab him. That's how I heard that I went to meet a girl and he said, My name is Will, as in God's will for your life. I heard it too. Mm -hmm. They told me. <laughs> and that one is Can I walk around you seven times so you can fall for me like the walls of Jericho? <laughs> has one for me? Please come and join me. Who has a Christian pickup line for me? Eh? Who said Christian pickup line? Nobody has pickup line for me. Shall I say more? Shall I say more? The Bible says you should think about things that are lovely and beautiful. So I've been thinking about you all day. 
Some guys are getting ideas right now. <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to ask some questions. Our mic's ready. Our mic's ready. So this is just all fun, all vibes. So if you have an answer to my question, drop it up your hand and the mic would come to you. Our mic's ready. Who is with our mics, please? I was reading the book of numbers when I realized I do not have your number. Can I have it, please? <laughs> My audience is on that side. People on this side, they're just looking at me like, please, I'm too holy for what you're saying, please. I don't do such. What are you saying? <laughs> you can call me Pharaoh because I will never let you go. <laughs> I'll never let you go. <laughs> so, okay, uh, the mics are ready now, right? So, first question. I might not be Reverend okay, but I prophesy us together. <laughs> All right. Um, first question. What does love mean to you? I want two people to answer that question. I want you to be as real, and I want to actually know what you guys think love means. So, who can tell us today what love means to you? So, I have the authority to call on people if you do not answer me. So, anybody that looks like the substance of things that I've carried the mic, I'm just going to call you, man. Does anybody want to answer my questions? All right, please. That's lovely, sis. Put your hands together for her. What does love mean to you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, for one, love is not a feeling. Love is from the inside. All right? And love is selfless. Love is selfless and um, love is satisfying. Praise the Lord. Selfless in that you are able to give your all in a relationship, in a marriage, whether um, you're, you're wealthy or not. But what you have, you share with your partner wholeheartedly. Praise the Lord. So are you saying that love is only in a partnership? No, it can okay. be in business. Praise, wow. the, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, even in business, I have um, colleagues that I, we, we say, I love you. Even for a female, you can love a female friend. Praise the Lord. It's not only a man that you can love. It's not only your husband that you can love or your wife. You can love a friend dearly. Like, you also love your mother. You love your siblings. So love goes all around. It depends how you share it. Like, the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for her. That leads me to my, to my next question. Is it possible to love everybody? Yes, it's possible. No, no, no. Another person, sorry. Anyone else answer that? Is it possible to love everybody? No. So you don't say no. It's off your hand. Let me give you a mic now. This mic is sweet to hold. Oh, sister, you're looking like, why are you now bowing your head in prayer? We know that I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Why were you bowing your head like you were saying your prayer? Please give her the mic. Is it possible to love everyone? Please give her the mic. Is it possible to love everyone? Yes. I, I, why do you say that? How? Do you love me? Do you love me? Ah, uh -uh, now, calm down. Uh -uh. Let love be shared abroad in your heart. Who shall you know from there? Hey, God, please, do you love me? I don't know you. But you said it's possible to love. Please give the mic to your brother, okay? You don't love me, but you can love everyone. Am I that unlovable? Jesus loves me, please. Ah, ah. Okay, give the mic to your um, brother, okay? Is it possible to love everyone? Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, it is indeed possible to love everyone. Um, love is actually God. 
you know, if you cannot say you're a born again Christian, you know, that you are Holy Spirit filled without having love in you. So if indeed you are born again and uh, you have you are filled with the Holy Spirit, what it means is that you are filled with the gift of love and you can actually love everyone. You won't have you won't have you won't have hatred at all in you. For God is love. Thank you. Put your hands together for him. That was amazing. My next question, how can you love somebody that you don't like at all? You don't like the person at all. There's this particular person that's always snobbing you every time you greet them in church. The person is to frown their face at you. How do you love them? How do you show them love? Who wants to answer? How do you love somebody that you hate, that you don't like? No, sorry for saying hate. How do you love somebody that you don't like? Did I mention you get a gift if you answer a question? This is your chance to get Valentine gift to, so they will not pepper you again. Please go ahead. Um, we can tolerate and respect them. But I, I, some we hate or don't like, how can we show love to them? We can tolerate and respect them. Tolerate? How do you mean tolerate? Like huh? How do you mean tolerate? Like, we standing, like, I'm um, trying to withstand our characters or. Attitude show. I didn't get that, sorry. I'm trying to restore your characters and attitude, to, like, attitude they are showing towards you. You can just tolerate it. Just to withstand it. So, something like that, show. By expecting them to, you can see you show love. Like, it shows to you love them. Despite you don't like them. Or Give me an example. A practical example. Um, let me say. Can it be you don't like me? How do you love me? How okay. do you show me love? Mm, let me say, I, I don't like you, but um, let me say, despite the attitude you showed me in church, I still respect you and tolerate it. How? I don't complain. I don't. How? Huh? How? How, like? how now? Is it your how? <laughs> I, I want to hear the practical ways you can show me love. What's your own? And uh, like, despite your negative attitude towards me, I don't complain about it. I just tolerate it and understand. I still respect you. That means I still show love to you, you know. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> what are the ways we can show love to someone? What's one important way you can show love to someone? What's way, a way that you can express love to someone? Okay, yes. Um... She's also She wants to answer a question right here. Right here. Look at me, sir. This she wants to answer a question. Okay, give her the mic. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By loving someone, by correcting someone, giving someone a correction, by leading someone to Christ, by directing someone, you know. Leading that person, giving that person courage and letting him or he or she to know the way to live a good life. I think it's love. Put your hands together for her. Any other person, how can you express love? Um, okay, sorry. Please go to her. And is somebody raising up your hand here? Please go ahead. Okay, hold on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Love has uh, so many faces. Like, there are so many attributes of love. But the one I can see is you have to be kind and patient towards everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope, hope we are all learning something today. I'm learning so much. You have to be kind and patient. Please go ahead, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The younger generation, when they tell you, show me love, give me money, love entails sharing. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. I was waiting for that. Loving. Give me cash. Now it's no longer money. It's cash. Love is cash. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
<laughs> Next question is, what's something you used to believe about love before, but you no longer believe about love? So before I used to believe that when somebody loves you, right? Um, before we used to believe that love is when, you know, you can give me money. Uh -huh. But now we now know that love is more than money, right? Because young people taught us two, two Sundays ago that love is more than money, right? So one thing that you, are, you learned about love before, maybe five, ten years ago, but now you think differently about love. You can tell me something. You can tell me something. You can tell me something. Where's the mic, please? Okay, please go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, so before I used to believe love is feeling, but now I think I believe love is more of commitment towards your partner. Mm, lovely. Put your hands together for him. I think somebody else raised up their hand around here quickly, that last person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I used to think love was unconditional. The honest truth is that nowadays there is condition for every love given. Jesus, who broke your heart? <laughs> who served you breakfast? This guy has eaten better breakfast. Wow. <laughs> Anybody now has a pickup line for me as you round up? Any more Christian pickup line for me? Anybody with a Christian pickup line? But let's, let's give him the mic quickly. Christian pickup line, no. You don't have any Christian pickup line? Please, our, our breakfast eating man. Yeah, um, my spiritual gift is my good looks. It lifts people's spirits up. Wow. <laughs> are, you, are you feeling the heat, brother? Because I think the Holy Spirit is burning inside of you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. My time here is finished. When are you giving them their gift? Uh, okay, they're giving them. Uh, okay, that's nice. Um, babe, hmm? Hmm? Ella, oh. hmm? um, please, I'm going to church now. Don't forget those items. I asked you to help me. Please ah, go I can't over, go babe. again. No. Please ask me to come over. Ah, ah, babe, ah, 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 you promised me. Now. I know, I can't go again. See, no. he's even calling himself. Because of man now, the items I told you to help me pick, you not I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Because of which man? It's because of this item or you're jealous because I have a man and you don't. Man, quoi? Yes, man, Ella. not man. Chris is his name. Ella. Don't because of me. man, no. See, because of man. And Let's you know go. I would do that to you. Don't verse. I beg, don't Let's worry. go. Let's don't. go. More music on trendybeats.com.
Everybody we won't fight you Men that come they already know I'll be right beside you Hey babe like the wall of I'm fine Thank you Let me get you something to drink. Okay, no problem. I'll be back in a minute. It's easy to judge me for smiling so much when you haven't met the perfect love, the perfect one, the one you shared moments you both wished would never end, the one you hold hands with and you feel warmth ignite inside of you, the one who sends chills down your spine with a text. The one that innovates a tingling feeling in your tummy when you see his calls. How one person out of eight billion can make you feel something so strange, yet so satisfying. Here you go. Thank you. So what took you so long? Well, I got a call from DG. He wanted me to meet him up somewhere, but I'm not going on. Today? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going anyways. Why? Why would I have you? I want to be elsewhere, Ella. Uh-huh. Uh, you think I flatter you, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. But you should talk to me all the time. Well, it's not intentional. I just tell you how I feel. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's just it. Like the drink, right? It's nice. Babe, do you trust me? I just want to let you know something today, babe. I know I may not be the right man out there. But well, I promise to be the right man for you. I promise to love you with my life and all I've got. I love you, Ella. I love you too, babe. Oh. Oh. Uh. Are you hungry or sleepy? I guess so. Uh. Ella. Ella. Hello? Alpha, DG. Uh, he don't say it, he don't say it, she don't sleep. I carry and come now, he don't say it. And I mean, we'll meet for that place, we'll talk. Oh, yeah, nah. You sure? I saw it. I just didn't accept it. The con, 
the mask, the narcissism, the blank stares. I lied to myself so much, it became the truth, my truth. I told myself I had found my happily ever after, my paradise. But reality strikes like a broken screen. I opened my eyes and I saw Chris before me with four other guys, each taking turns on me. I was too weak to move or do anything. Tears glided down my eyes as I watched them enact on me what was good. I lied to myself so much it became the truth, my truth. I told myself I had found my happily ever after, my paradise. But reality strikes like a broken screen. I lied to myself so much it became the truth. I saw it. I just didn't accept it. blank stairs. I lied to myself so much it became the truth, my truth. I told myself I had found my happily ever Tears glided down my eyes as I watched them enact on me what was going to be my biggest scar. This girl been ha he he hella ha see person where me are they fine Ella where you did all these years eh I call you you know pick you know call back I test you know reply waiting soap uh uh why this one they do like this Ella you better raise that before I do you strong thing now nah. Ella uh -uh. babe waiting soap you like say this thing no be joko Ella uh -uh. Ella, Ella, you know the year. Uh, Ella, what's wrong? Uh -uh. Ella, uh -uh. Uh -uh. you are crying. It's Chris. Chris, what's wrong with Chris? I don't understand. Chris and his friends. Chris and his friends. Eh, what happened now? Uh -uh. Four of them. Four. Oh, calm down. Wait, Ted. <coughs> calm down. Wait. Uh -uh. Chris. Chris, Chris and, and his, his friends. friends. Ruth, I'm Chris and his Chris. friends. I don't understand what you are saying now. Make me understand. Chris and his, wait. Ruth, Chris and his friends. Wait, wait, oh, wait, oh. wait now. Nah. Chris and his friends. Wait, wait, wait. Ella, wait. Wait. Wait first. Don't tell me that. Chris and his friends. Like, they. I thought he loved me. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Babe, I'm so sorry. Eh? Oh, calm oh, down, no calm polish down. Chris and his friends. I know, I know. Ah, ah, oh. ah, they will not see good things. They ah. good. Ah, I'm finished. Oh. Ah, Chris, I'm finished. It's okay. <laughs> Ella, it's okay. Eh? This is your crime. We don't solve anything. Calm down. Just calm down, all right? Calm down. See, I promise you. Eh? We'll get through this together, all right? We'll, we are definitely going to get through this together. Ah, Chris and his friends. Ah, God. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Lord. Sorry, oh, I'm so sorry. Eh? Oh, what will I do now? Chris and his friends. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Babe, calm down. You know what? Just calm down. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Crying would solve anything. Calm down. Calm down, you know? Oh, girl. Oh. You know what? Eh? I'm going out now and I would um, want you to 
follow me. I don't want to go anywhere. Uh -uh. Ella, you know that me, I will not leave you alone in this condition. No. I will not leave you. So it's better you follow me now. I'm not going. Uh -uh. Ella, now, will you please follow me? Eh? Please now. I, do, I cannot leave you like this, you know. Eh, I don't want you to watch yourself. What has happened has happened. Just take art. You know, please. Eh? See, eh? actually, I'm going somewhere. And there's this person that actually wants to meet you. There's this person that really loves you, like... You were good. You were. I just come off for one. Now I'm a character. You were. Why are you talking like this? She be now? on your own, or they do now. Which which be that one now? Ella, now. In fact, they go. I don't want to see you. Come off for you. Ella, seriously, this person I'm talking about. Eh? See, if you know this person, where they talk, ha. You yourself, if you enter him, if you know him, oh my, you know, you no go on leave him. Ha. This person is different. I'm serious. This person is really, really different. I'm serious, eh? Please, you know I won't leave you like this now. Please, I beg, me go. I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. Ella, calm down now. Eh, it's your own I'm doing, no. Oh. Calm down, yeah. Sorry, Tele baby. Undo, hmm? Tele. She did introduce someone to me that day. Someone special. Someone who showed me that love is more than a cliche phrase used to end a text. That love is more than lust and a desire to place yourself first. That love is more than hugs and kisses that would leave your heart torn in pieces. I found someone special. Someone who looked beyond my flaws and my sin. Someone who chose to die for me and walk in my skin. I found someone special. Whose love is so strong it would make a wicked man turn from his wrongs. Whose love is so pure even the deaf hear it and crave for more. Whose love is so deep, it would contain all my tears when I weep. I found someone special. In whom I realized my definition of love was flawed. For love is more. And love is God.
<clears throat> Hallelujah. I love this set up. <laughs> okay, lovely audience. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you guys. Sister Esther, they frown. I set out. Beautiful. So I'm going to rearrange this group. I can't do a male and female. It's not like that. No, please. All right. Um, Sister Happiness, Sister Ura, Brother Frank, Brother Chigo, by this side. So you face me, you face me this way. And let us have the, let us have other people this way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let us play Trem field. Media, are you ready for me?
Ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry for the break in transmission. Oh, they are smiling, they like me. <laughs> they are not even offended. I appreciate, I appreciate, thank you. All right, media, are you ready for me? Give me a thumbs up. All right, let us play Trem Field. Now, this game, we have the singles against the married. So if you are single, and your sins get an answer, you better applaud them. If you are married and you might get an answer, you better applaud them. Now, these are the rules of the game. We surveyed a hundred people, and the top six answers are on the screen. We would ask you a question, and you have to give us an answer. If your answer is on the screen, you get your point. If it is not, no point. Now, if your team get three strikes, which means if they fail three times, the question goes to the other team. Okay? The question goes to the other team. Now, if you miss it the first attempt, the question is gone. If you get it, you have um, three opportunities to answer that question. Do we understand? Do we understand? Yes. Do we understand? Yes. Beautiful. Now, let us play Trem Field. All right. Name a wedding tradition Nigerians cannot do without. Name a wedding tradition Nigerians cannot do without. You can click on the question. Now, I'll be starting from my right-hand side. Name a wedding tradition, Sister Happiness, Nigerians cannot do without. Use your mic. Use your mic. Use your mic. No, no, do not tell me who to call. No, no, I'm here to make you pass. Why to try to name a wedding tradition Nigerians cannot do without? We can't hear you. She said exchange of rings. Exchange of rings. Hurrah. Name a wedding tradition Nigerians cannot do without. You have five seconds, please. Come again. She said, diary, a survey says. Oh, you will not clap. Okay. What did she go? Name a wedding tradition Nigerians cannot do without. You have five seconds. After five seconds, the buzzer goes up. Come again. The goats, the giving of the goats. Giving of the goats. Yeah. Okay, our survey says. <laughs> All right. Name a wedding tradition and Jews cannot do without. One more strike, it goes to the other party. Wedding tradition, Nigerians cannot do without. Coming without being invited. Coming without being invited. Our survey says. Oh, oh, okay. Happiness from you again. They don't have three strikes yet. Let me wait for the cannot do without. You miss this one. I ask the other team. The struggle for food. The struggle for food. Our survey says. <laughs> All right, Brokbe. Let me wedding tradition. Nigerians cannot do without. Can you have one start? Exchange of marital vows. Our survey says. Oh, all right. You have forty-five points. They have zero for points for the first round. Put your hands together for them. Media, let us have number two on the board. I should I be? It was obvious now. Abba. Money. 
us now. Number two, the next question. Name an item you would find in a bachelor's house. We are going to start from Brother Daniel. Name an item you will find in a bachelor's house. A TV set. A TV set. Our survey says. Oh, Sister Esther. Use your mic. Foam. She said foam. Our survey says. The top points. Sister Chinere. Name an item you find in a bachelor's house. Fan. She said fan. A survey says. Oh, Brock Bear. Toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush, a survey says. One more trial, Bro Daniel. Name an item you will find in a bachelor's house. You are once a bachelor. Rogue. Clock. Rug, rug, rug. Rug. He said rug, our survey says. But Daniel, Mike. Uh, a game set. He said gaming set, our survey says. <laughs> Chigo. Gas. Gas cooker. Gas cylinder, our survey says. Okay. Another time we find a bachelor's house. Food. She said food. Our survey says. <laughs> you are more more. You're not sitting down here. Aww. One more trial and we are done. Not necessarily food, but you must drink Gary. You still Gary in their house. She said Gary. Our survey says. <laughs> Give me number five and six. Next question. <laughs> I love this one. Name an old Nigerian song. Old song, classic song, and you know. I will not tell you how old. Name an old Nigerian song. You said? You said gospel. Nigerian love song, love song, Nigerian love song, an old one. I study from you, happiness. Lagbaja's like um, wherever. She even sing them. She said Lagbaja's like wherever. Our survey says. Amo, you don't make me fall in love by the band. The band fall in love. Our survey. African Queen by Two Face. African Queen by Two Face. Frank. Um, if Naya by P Square. If Naya by P Square. <laughs> Your answer. One more strike. You have five seconds. Three seconds, they'll drop the Aye. She said Aye by David Doe. Uh, I said it from here before, so from here. Name an old Nigerian love song. Talk. <laughs> if you catch me, I will catch you. <laughs> How? So I think. Something like that. What's the name of that uh, song? What's the name of the song? Face me, I face you by Sonny Neji. Next person. Sing it. She said, Love, one thing, tea. Her survey says. All right, let us have answer three, four, five, and six. This should have been easy. <laughs> It was obvious now. 
Pastor Lola, why you angry? Why are you angry? It was obvious now. Who did vibe to Yori Yori back then? Name something you cannot do for love. Name something you cannot do for love. I won't die for love. He said he will not die for love. Our survey says. That is it. Sister Esther, name something you cannot do for love. She said she cannot kill for love. Her survey says. <laughs> Sister Chinye, what you cannot do for love? Oh, yeah, another one. No, it's you. I can't fight. She said she cannot fight for love. She cannot fight for love. Her survey <laughs> says. Rock, man. See, I am hearing murmuring. I'm hearing people are saying, well, I heard it here, I heard it here. If I hear it again, I'll give the automatic uh, wrong buzzer. Please, no noise. I don't want to hear answer. Bro, <laughs> I don't think I can starve. You cannot starve for love. As survey says. Okay. Bro, Daniel, something you cannot do for love. Three seconds more. Um, I can't steal. He, he said it before you pressed it. He said he cannot steal for love. Our survey says you can continue. Something you cannot do for love. You don't have three strikes yet. I can't swear an oath. You cannot swear an oath. Oh, God. Ah, when we were young, when we were young, I will not say anything, though. He cannot swear an oath for love. Just our survey says something you cannot do for love, Chigo. Said you cannot lie for love. Okay, our survey says okay, let us have answers one, four, and six. Very important. Happiness is best. If I can't watch the world. Even me, I can't watch the world. Name a place you wait in line. Line as in queue. A place you queue up. A place you queue up. Happiness, a place you wait in line. Bank. She said bank. Our survey says. Fuel station. Fuel station, our survey says. Ah, 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 ah. Did you, did you pick my answers? She go. I'm a lot joint. <laughs> Beautiful. Classic answer. I'm a lot joint. <laughs> Frank. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. <laughs> now, because of time, two buzzers and we go to the next team. Brockway, a place you wait in line. POS time. <laughs> It's a POS stand. A survey says, oh, give me answers three, four, five, and six. We are with Tabi now. So, <laughs> we survey the 100 people, the top six answers are always on the board. Name something women want. I know what I want. Women, you know what you want. It should be very, very easy. Now, this thing. I'll start from the women. Sister Chinere, what do women want for Valentine? Give me one thing. Chocolate. She said chocolate. Our survey says... <laughs> Sister Esther, something women want for Valentine. Attention, val roses, gifts. You say one thing. Which one are you saying? She said, attention. Our survey says, Bro, Daniel, something women want for Valentine. 
Cold stone and roses. Cold stone. <laughs> Our service. Now, this team. Let me start from Chigo. Okay, sorry, it was you before, Frank. Um, engagement ring. <laughs> Classic answer. He said engagement ring. Our survey says. <laughs> Happiness. A treat. A treat, our survey says. Yes, no, hey, the same thing. Yeah. All right. Ura. Flower. She said flowers, our survey says. Okay, let us have answer one, two, four, and five on the board. Who oh, will miss number one now? Find the mama boots. Rice and stew. He said, for this one, will be very specific. You understand? If, if you say yam, say whether it is a yam and egg or it is porridge yam. Do you understand? You answer again. He said, white rice and stew. A survey says, classic. Chigo. <laughs> He said beans and bread. Our survey says. Wura, a dish we find in Mama Puts. Amala, Amala and Begiri. She said Amala and Begiri. Amala and Begiri, our survey says. Happiness. Eban Egusi. Eban Egusi. Classic. Frank, over to you again. One more strike and the next team has it. Um, jollof rice and plantain, fried plantain. <laughs> Is that jollof rice and fried plantain? <laughs> Chigo, a dish you find in Mama Puts. Um, spaghetti. He says spaghetti. Yes, we uh, said. All right, over to you. Brock, buy a dish you find in Mama Puts. <laughs> he said rice and beans. Our survey says. Okay, let us have answer four and six. I said be specific. It's a baby. You find a lady's bag, yeah, yeah. From this team, Bokbe. Powder. <laughs> he said powder. A survey says. Beautiful. Sister Chinere. Phone. She said phone. A survey says. <laughs> Sister Esther, not be me, right, Sam? As bank. she said, power bank. A survey says. <laughs> Who they get power back? They carry my own. <laughs> Two strikes and it's gone. If over to you. Let me start from Chigo. Hairbrush. Yeah. Hairbrush. Hair Our survey says. Beautiful. Wura. Something you will find in a lady's bag. Her purse. Her purse. Her purse. Her purse inside her bag. All right. Beautiful. Happiness. Charger. She said, Chaja, our survey says. <laughs> ah, we have to clap for you by mistake. <laughs> okay, no. Give me answers one, four, and six. It's not your question and you failed it. You failed it. So if it was your question, I'll give you two strikes. <laughs> awesome. Next question. Break. 
wake up. I don't want to share my experience. Let me start from Brother Daniel. It's for you. I might be no. So sorry. sorry. All right. Sister Happiness. Cry. She said cry. Why? As survey says. She said cry. As survey says. Beautiful. Wura. <clears throat> Something you would do after a breakup. Um, go on vacation. She said, "Go on vacation. Go on vacation." For rich people, <laughs> wonderful. I will get money they do. Um. Something you do after a breakup. This, after, do you like this? Listen to music. Good music. Listen to beautiful. Ah, oh, listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. Uh, go to the gym. He said, go to the gym. I agree. Uh, oh, back to you, Sister Esther. Something you will do after a breakup. Where's your mic? She said, go for swimming. A survey says. Uh, All right, give me answers. One, two, four, and five. Nigerian women gift their partner for Valentine. <laughs> Classic question. Box, okay. Boxer, <laughs> he Box, said boxers. Boxer. Our survey says. <laughs> women, why? Why? <laughs> she says singlet. Our survey says. Why are we like this? <laughs> why? Perfume. She said perfume. Our survey says. <laughs> All right, Brockman. A car. He said a car. <laughs> Even the men, the men are doubting it. <laughs> All right, let us go to Team B. Have you made any? Okay, from Frank. No, I said that from her before. From Frank. Something Nigerian women give their partner for Valentine. Valentine card. He said. He said Valentine card. <laughs> I saw faces. <laughs> okay, give me answers three, four, five, and six. <laughs> that is our gift. <laughs> Even Reverend laughs because it's true. Okay, thank you very much for playing friendly. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for me. Beautiful and also. You say no winner? Even me that you not calculate the team. Who won? Now draw. Uh. Praise the Lord. My assignment here is very brief. I like seeing that to make fun of Pastor Solomon and Reverend Shego. My assignment here is very brief. Um, Singles Fellowship, we did something different for Valentine's this year. We gave a gift to, we gave an anonymous gift to somebody. We paid it forward. You can still be a part of it. Just meet up with Sister Precious or Sister Happiness. Happiness, stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. So, People came and gave me gifts for somebody. So if you call your name, it means that somebody got you a gift and sent you a love note. So you just rise up on your face and come and meet me. We have plenty on here to do. All right, I'm going to be starting with, right, let me start with this one. 
for Sister Happiness. Where's the happiness? Quickly, please. Don't come with pride. <laughs> All right, we have one gift here for Sister Happiness. I loved Ma. Put your hands together for her. Next, we have Magdalene, Sister Meg. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay, let's do this next. Sorry. Next, we have Wura. Where's Wura? You are loved, Wura. Um, next, we have sorry, Sister Precious Allen Tams. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> I love sister precious one one <laughs> okay next we have we have Ifai Ifai <laughs> hey did not write son name oh sorry Ifai you are loved <laughs> I need your help. Um, okay, let's do this next. Okay. Sister Peace Amem Rose. Peace Amem Rose. What is happiness? You are loved. Wura, please come. Okay. Let me do this next. Sister Happiness again. Sister Happiness. Sister Happiness, come with pride. She's our president. What do you expect? You are loved, Sister Happiness. I have some. If I see anybody, I'll call you again. Okay, I have some notes here that contain like digital gifts. So we have I have one for Jane, Sister Jane. Um, and I have one for Chigo. You are loved, Sister Jane. I have for Chigo. Because yeah, hard guy, hard guy. <laughs> I have one for Sister Lillian. Sister Lillian. Sister Lillian. Where is she? Okay, yes, yeah, Sister Lillian. Put your hands together for her. Brother Joseph Ike. Brother Joseph Ike. You are loved, Brother Joseph Ike. Okay, let me do this now. Oh, we are for Marzi. Would you come now? I 
love. Okay, there's no name here, so we'll give that one later. Sister Faith. We have this one for Sister Faith. If don't put name, I'll just take it home. Sister Faith, please. Yes, please. <laughs> if don't put name, I'll take it home. Oh, there's choice here. They have... Thank you. And I have one for Brother Sam. Brother Sam. Your love, Sister Faith. And I have one for Brother Sam. Yes. Sorry, who, are, who owns this? Who brought them? For who? For who? There are no names attached to them. So maybe I'll just give the person, give the people, especially I'll just take it to my house. Anyways. Singles Fellowship, we meet every Sunday after, so, after the service. We meet after, sun, after the service this afternoon. Let's just meet there. We are one loving ministry. I would love to have you. So if you're single and you'd like to be a part of our ministry, we'd love to have you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. If you've been blessed already, put your hands together for Jesus. I'm praying for every, every single. You have gotten to the age of marriage. You're not yet married. Come, let me pray for you. Come quickly. Whether you got a gift or not, come. That you didn't get, get a gift does not mean you are not special. You're still special. All the singles come out. Whether you got a gift or not. There's some of you that are, are minors. What are you coming out for? Eh? What are you coming out for? You. You. How old are you? Eh? How old are you? Come. Come and tell me. Man, whisper in my ears. I don't want to waste my prayers. I will just allow you. Basically, you are not yet ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. For a man, if you, are, if you don't have a job and you don't have an accommodation, a house, you don't need a, a big house, even if it's one room. And if you are not... The ID age in Nigeria now, you must be between minimum of 28 for a man. So it means that you are not yet ready. Praise the Lord. Is somebody hearing me today? Marriage is not for small children. Are you hearing me today? Amen. Let's stretch our hands towards them. can happen within one year. Do you believe me? What God said I should tell you, every one of you, 
one, you are special. Number two, you are precious. And number three, you're valuable. You're special, you're precious, and you're valuable. If they like, let them not greet you. You are still special. And if anybody walked out of you, walked out on you, the person walked out on the best thing that could have ever happened to him or her. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing me today? Praise God. You are the best thing that has ever happened in your generation. That's who you are. Amen. And God's hand is upon you. Let's declare that favor will be with every one of them. Favor that opens the door of marriage. Let it be upon these ones. Favor that will draw resources. Favor that will open the eyes of the sister and open the eyes of the brother. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let's break everything that is hindering these ones from marriage. Open your mouth and pray, child church. Just lift up your voice and pray for every one of them. Pray for every one of them. I declare that God will settle these ones this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, concerning every one of these ones, Lord, that everything that is a hindrance towards their marriage has been removed. We command it to be eliminated in the name of Jesus. And we ask, Lord, that these ones will enter into their prophetic destiny concerning marriage. You will order their steps aright in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that every form of confusion is taken away. I declare that the seasons of these ones have changed. They've entered into the season of their harvest. The things that used to be a struggle in their lives come to an end. I release God's blessing upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessing for boldness. I release boldness on every brother that is here today in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare, Lord, that your time will not pass you by, that the desire of God for your life will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And I ask, oh God, that you will honor these ones. You will honor the word of that comes out of their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask, oh God, that you will show them your mercy, each one of them. This year will be a glorious year for you. By this time next year, you'll come back married. I call it done in the name of Jesus. I call it done in the name of Jesus. I ask, oh God, that the Lord will grant them the desires of their hearts. I break the yoke of darkness. I nullify every work of the wicked. Every confusion that is in your heart, every stronghold that is holding you bound, I set you free from it. In the mighty name of Jesus, every complication that has limited you up till now, I command the complications to go now. In the name of Jesus, and I set you free. In every covenant that is standing, I set you free today. In the name of Jesus. When I lay hands on you, just go back to your seat. Mandebo zinta, bikaya gadaba zinta. Makuria na mandebo zinta, rikete. Let this year be the year of your visitation. In the name of, and God will honor these ones for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we ask God that will bless them. Let every impediment in their lives be taken away. In the name of Jesus, the yoke of darkness is broken. Every contrary covenant walking against them, I set them free from it in the name of Jesus. Lord will honor them. Father, you will do great and mighty things in their lives, each one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Affliction will not arise again. For your shame you have a double. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. The work of the wicked is broken. My Lord, settle these ones. My Lord, honor these ones. It's a season of turnaround for them. Each one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, you give these ones a testimony. Father, in the name of Jesus. You will grant them the desires of their hearts. Every one of them. Lord, you bless them. Bless each one. In the name of Jesus. The delay is over. I call it done in the name of Jesus. You be your strength. You make a way. Take away every impediment in your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you uphold these ones, Father, with your mighty hands. Thank you, Father, because you settle your daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the hand of God be mighty upon her life. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. You give your daughter a testimony. Lord, you show him a token for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that your hand be mighty upon their lives, O oh God. Take away reproach. In the name of Jesus. You'll wipe away their tears. You'll uphold them with your mighty hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, you bless your children mightily like never before. You provide all the resources that they require. In the mighty name of Jesus. No darkness. Your light is shining upon them. And Lord, we bless you. Thank you for what you're going to do in their lives. They will testify this year. In Jesus' mighty name. And the people say, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Let's stand as a church, every one of us. Stretch your hands to this pulpit. Hallelujah. We're going through a very complicated season. Hallelujah. Evil will not come near you. The Lord will keep you from harm, protect you from evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that violence will not locate your dwelling place. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break the yoke of darkness over your life. I declare these ones, none of you will be stranded. This week is going to be a good week for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the desires of your heart shall be granted. I break every depression. Whatever it is that was a source of depression in your life, I command it to be removed. And I speak joy over you. I speak joy over you. Everything that was not working last week, this week, I speak life to it in the name of Jesus. I declare, Lord, that you will honor the faith of these ones. Father, whatever it is that they have declared over their lives this week, there shall be a manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus, only good things will be heard concerning them. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord will keep you from harm. If you are sick in your body, you are healed today from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You are totally healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are totally healed in the mighty name of Jesus. And I ask, O oh God, Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will speak for them in places that they had no voice. Every complex situation is turned around for good. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that the devil has used to against these ones, I command it to scatter in the name of Jesus and I bless the works of their hands. I command every dead situation to come alive in the mighty name of Jesus and I ask my Lord will be gracious on these ones. My Lord will show you his kindness. My Lord will show you his mercy. People will know that indeed the mighty hand of God is on your, upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I declare, let this week be filled with miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, where this one, where anyone that is going through a season of weakness, I ask for a refreshing. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever is dying is coming alive. I speak a turnaround in every bad situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
I call upon our Lord that is a may way, may way maker. Let him make a way for somebody in the midst of every blockade. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that this week is a glorious week. Lift up your head, child of God, and just magnify him. The Lord is doing great and mighty things in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are possessing the gates of your enemies. Every gate that has been shut, I command it to be open. We bless the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the people say, Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Amen. The big generator has been on since. Why is the AC not on? The big generator has been on. Somebody put it on. It means that the big the ACs are all supposed to be on. So why are they not on since? Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's bless the Titus. Amen. Let's bless the Titus. Amen. If you have your tithe, come quickly. If you paid your tithe in the course of the week, come. Paid your tithe today. The Lord bless you with peace. The Lord bless you with increase. The Lord enlarge you. He'll uphold you this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will prosper the works of your hands. I breathe life into your businesses. I breathe life into your finances. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I ask, oh God, that God will do amazing things for you. He will walk in diverse manners in your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a precedented increase in your life. I declare your lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. I comfort your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask, Lord, that you do in the lives of these ones only what you can do, what is beyond comprehension, what is beyond the ability of men, you do for these ones. And we bless you, Father, for everything. Thank you, Father, because this month, month of February, is a glorious month for these ones. We give you all adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Let's give a good offering. Let's give a good offering. Amen. Nobody should bring the old 500 naira note and old 1,000 naira note. Amen. It's not, it's no longer legal tender. So don't tell me, oh, governor said it's legal tender. Governor is not the president of this country. It's no longer legal tender. If president changes it, fine. But it's no longer legal tender. I hope you're hearing me. So I say, ah, pastor, Supreme Court has taken decision. Supreme Court has its process of enforcing a judgment. I'm a lawyer, so I should know. If it has not enforced it, no be you be Supreme Court. Amen. What is the best way out now? Everybody, go cashless. Amen. I just downloaded Palm Pay today. I want to learn how to use it. I'm not doing advert for them. I don't know who they are. Praise God. But I find out that it's becoming very popular these days. Is that not true? Is that not true? I hear they've gone to the marketplace and they've, they've colonized all the women in marketplace. I like that kind, of, that kind of proactiveness. That's what I want to do. I'm hearing good news about them. So I want to do Pampe. Praise God. In fact, by next week, I want to get Pampe POS in this church. Let's stand on our feet. If you are a market person, you are driving, you are doing your cab driver, everything, get what? Get Pampe. Get one of those nice, those apps. If it's Opay you, if you're familiar with, get it. That's the way it works now. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. 
Let's stand on our feet. Let's bless our offering. Let's appreciate God for it. Thank him for the opportunity to give. Thank him for everything that he has done. Thank him for blessing. Mm. Thank him for making sure you are not stranded. We give you all adoration. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's celebrate our offering. Some service so far. All right, before I welcome the first time out this morning, the Trend Field game, the scores have been collated and we have a winner. That's Team Hey, the singles. Please let's jam our hands together for them. So now, if you know you're worshiping with us for the first time, I'd like you to signify by raising up your hands. Yes. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time in Trem Valley Estates. Okay, yeah, we have a first time out here, please. <laughs>
behalf of the presiding Bishop of Trem, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, and our Father, Reverend Oke Omezi, we want to welcome you. Trem is a place where we gather together in quality praise and worship of the true and living God, equipped with the Word of God for growth and fellowship with one another. In covenant relationship, we to make a formidable impact in our world for the kingdom. Trem is big enough to contain you, small enough to reach you, and powerful enough to deal with whatever the devil brings against you. In Trem, we do not look at the bigness of your problem, but the bigness of our God. So I want to encourage you to join a Bible-believing church where Jesus Christ is Lord and the Holy Spirit is giving absolute liberty. There are so many churches like that around Lagos. We do not claim to be the only one. But if you want the best recommendation, I'll be glad to recommend you to where you're seated today, Trem Valley Estate. We hope to see you again and again. Let's celebrate the first time out in the house. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Church News. I am Les Nehesiaba, bringing you the headlines. Service time on Sundays is by 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. All members are encouraged to invite at least one person to church every Sunday. South Church is mandatory for every church member. MIT class, a class for new converts and potential members, holds on Sundays after second service and on Mondays by 6 p.m. Power for Living service holds on Tuesdays by 6 p.m. in the church arena. Family communion service comes up this Saturday by 5 p.m. Please subscribe to our social media pages on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Kingdom Impact Network, KIN, please see Pastor Fine. Kindly drop your prayer request in a designated box in front of the church auditorium if you haven't done so. Workers' WhatsApp prayer meeting holds on Mondays from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. The Young People's Evening Church, TEC, holds every first Sunday of the month by 5 p.m. Welfare parks are available for collection every first Sunday of the month. Interested persons should kindly take note. Teens Church holds downstairs every Sunday. If you'd like to share your testimony, please see Pastor Solomon for further directives. If you have a question on marriage and relationship, please drop us in our home front box behind the usher's desk. If you have a project for a new video camera and plastic chairs for the Teens Church. If you'd like to be a part of this project, kindly see Reverend. Please observe all safety protocols both inside and outside the church. Wear your face mask and wash your hands regularly. I am in blessed Nihei Siaba, wishing you a lovely and fulfilled week. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I know we've had a wonderful day in God's presence. Please let's rise as we take the benediction. All singles are to wait behind immediately after the service by my right. Thank you. Let's take our confession. One, two, go. God is my reward. I pursue after him and not things. Therefore, 
God will reward me in mind-blowing ways. Such experienced before. God will use my enemies to bless me because my ways are pleasing to him. God's blessings will overwhelm me and draw the envy of many. Just as Joseph could not be stopped by the traps set for him, nothing shall be able to stop me. The prophetic finger of God is pointing in my direction. I will not be stopped from entering into the greatness which God has prepared for me. Whatever had stopped me prior to now will no longer be able to stop me. I am coming out. In the same place where I've been cancelled out, disappointed and frustrated, my miracle is coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dreams will not die in the wilderness. My dreams will not die in obscurity. I will not be lost in the crowd and my dreams will not stop halfway. Every project my hands have started will be completed and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Let's have a blessed week.